Welcome learners. Today we look at the topic of electrochemistry. Subtopic is standard reduction potential, also called standard electrode potential. Now we first begin by defining the term standard reduction potential, denoted by letter E naught. Now this is defined as the potential difference of a cell comprising a particular element in contact with one molar solution of its own and the standard electrode potential. Now, usually, this, for us to measure the inode values, we have to know the conditions required before measuring it. Now, usually, the hydrogen upcell is used as a reverse electrode with a zero, zero potentials. So, for us to measure the inode values, we need a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. We need pressure of one atmosphere. All solutions will have concentration of one molar. We are told that platinized platinum is used as an electrode when the upcell does not include a metal. Now, this one applies for uh, gases like hydrogen, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Now, the uses of the electrode potential. Now, one use is used to compare the oxidizing power and the reducing power of substances. Number two, it is used to calculate the EMF of a cell. Then, number three, it is used to predict whether or not a reaction takes place. Now, in our today's lesson, we look at how to compare the oxidizing power and the reducing power of substances. How do we use the E naught to compare the oxidizing power and the reducing power of substances? We said when the, a substance has strong oxidizing agent or a weak reducing agent if it has a more positive electrode potential. And then we also say a substance is a strong reducing agent or a weak oxidizing agent if it has a more negative electrode potential. Now D is 0 plus 0 0.80 0, and then E is that. Now we are told here identify a strong reducing agent. Earlier on we said a strong reducing agent is one which has a more negative electrode potential. So among all these elements here the most negative is this one here negative 1.66 so my answer here will be b then the reason i'm going to give there i say because it has a more negative electrode potential a more negative electrode potential a more negative e you can say a more negative electrode potential now the question the same question can also be asked as identify a weak oxidizing agent we keep the same answer now b you are told identify a weak reducing agent a weak reducing agent is also called a strong oxidizing agent and that is one which has a more positive electrode potential so in our example the elements with the more positive is this one here this is the most positive electrode potential so my answer here will become e2 so and then the reason we say it has a more positive E naught. It has a more positive E naught. A more positive E naught value. You can say it has a more positive electrode potential. Now, the next lesson, we're going to look at the other uses of uh, electrode potential, which is, which is calculating the EMF of a cell and also predicts whether or not the reaction occur. Thank you learners, subscribe and share.